Hi there, I'm Sam Tucker, and I'm usually a macOS user. But today, we're installing Linux. Here we go! Wow, open source is amazing. Let's discover what Linux is all about in this episode of That's So Linux. Why am I upside down? Linux is an open source operating system that comes in many different flavors called distros. Some look like Mac OS, some look like Windows, and some look like Miley Cyrus. What? Which all sounds very reasonable, but there's also some pretty wacky Linux ideas out there, like special 3D effects and the famous cube. Wow, now ain't that something? Now, effects like these were a way for average users to get interested in using Linux for the first time. And that's why they had to go. And you can't really get this stuff anymore because Linux is for a superior race of people who like to correct you and say things like, oh, Linux is not so much an OS as it is the kernel who uses his 11 secret herbs and distros to make you feel inadequate. One way that he does this is by making it very difficult to install applications. Usually you can install apps using what's called the package manager, which is basically an app store where everything is free. Well, except for in elementary Linux, who seem to be copying everything about Apple, including their price tags. <laughs> That's so Linux. Actually, it's a bit anti-Linux, really. Linux has great software support, and there's only really a few niche apps that are missing and won't work on it. Little ones like Microsoft Office, Photoshop, and Google Chrome, if you've heard of those. However, if there is an app that you know works on Linux, but you can't find it in the package manager, well, you may need to update your repositories. Now, the experience of updating a repository is like inserting a suppository, but more painful. And even after you think you've done everything correctly, it still might not shit out what you want. But I didn't have any corn. Another way to install apps is to download them as a flat pack. Now, The Sims that came out in the year 2000 let you buy furniture pre-built, but with Linux, it's gonna be a nice flat pack, which I assume requires some assembly. And you can expect that assembly to happen in the terminal. Now, the terminal is where you type in commands and none of them actually work unless you type sudo first. Sudo, of course, is a very powerful curse that compels Linux to do what you say. Observe. Hello Linux, install program. I am sorry, I cannot. Sudo install program. Of course. Don't hurt me. And there it is. Now, many Linux users think that the terminal is a great thing that gives you ultimate power over your computer. But have you ever noticed that nothing good ever starts with terminal? I'm just saying. And that is why you should steer clear of it altogether and stick with a more competent OS from Apple that doesn't let you customize anything, which means you can't break it. And I tell you what, everything can be handled with the graphical user into, hang on, shut up a second. Hang on a minute. What the hell is this? Uh -uh. But, but Apple, no, that's, that's so Linux. Subscribe today. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Why not watch more funny Linux related content by clicking the video in the corner. And to find out my real views on Linux, I actually think it's kind of all right. Um, click on the Patreon, which is also a button on the screen. Click everywhere till something happens. And while I'm at it, have you seen my head?